Hey everybody, Bones here, Bones Garage, just bringing the update, what's going on at the garage. So, 1968, Cadillac, Coupe de Ville. After three months of waiting, we finally have the parts that we need to get this car started. We now have the frame from the donor car in. There is the 68 Caddy over there. This is a 55 Caddy, if anybody's curious. We're just finishing doing some main, uh, 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 minor work onto this car. But anyhow, so this is the frame that's going to be going under that car because that car's frame, as I showed you in an earlier video, is completely rotten. This frame is in actually really good condition. We have already started taking the upper control arms out and you can see there's the mount for the upper on the axle, there's the mount for the upper on the frame. We are putting new bushings in and then we're also gonna box the control arms in. And I'll show you what I'm talking about when I bring you to the back. But that's what's going on back there. We gotta get the coil springs out and we gotta put the airbags back there. And then we're gonna do all new nice stainless steel brake lines, stainless steel fuel lines. We're also gonna bend up a nice set of stainless steel transmission cooler lines. So we're gonna do a whole nice custom stainless steel job on this thing. Another thing we have is we have a full brand new front control arm suspension system. So new tubular and new tubular upper and lower control arms, as well as the lower control arm has what we, what is called the strut rod. That's from here, goes right through, and you can see down there where it connects to the lower control arm. With the new system, it gets rid of this bushing, which really, they go bad extremely fast when you have an air ride system. They go bad pretty fast to begin with, but when you're air ride, it's even worse. Um, you'll get a couple of months out of these bushings and then you got to replace them, get a whole new alignment on it. We're going to change that out. It's going to have a nice hind joint in there. So that's going to be really nice once that is all done. Something else we're going to do is this frame has drum brakes on the front. This frame has disc brakes on the front. As you can see them right down there. Those are disc brakes. We're going to take the disc brakes off of this and put it onto here so this car will have disc brakes. It changes around a lot of the brake lines. That's why we're having to do pretty much custom brake lines on this. And we're doing all stainless steel. I have all the hydraulic benders and flare tools and all that so we can do stainless steel. We're then gonna be pulling off the Saginaw 800 box Sending it out, we'll have it rebuilt, so this way it's all nice and, and firm. It'll have a really good feel. We're putting in all new steering linkage. That'll be really nice to set up. And then we're taking this whole drivetrain out, and we're going to put it into this frame. It's going to be a really nice setup. Now, let me take you into the back, and I can show you the upper control arms. These are the upper control arms. There's one, there's two. That's the top side of the control arm. That's the bottom side. These control arms, just uh, as a U-channel like this, are very weak. They, they are prone to bending, and they're also prone to a lot of flex. Now, when you go side to side with your air ride, so in other words, you take the car and you make it slip one or the other way, side to side, it tends to want to bend these. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to box this whole thing in. We're going to get a nice piece of metal and we're going to box. It'll be a nice piece of 3 16 metal. And then we're going to cut it to fit across here and then weld it to this control arm, which is going to stiffen the upper and the lower control arms up really, really well. We have the new bushings in already for the uppers. We just got to weld everything in. Then we'll put these in, we'll pull the lowers out, and we'll do the exact same thing. So there's what's going on with the 68 Cadillac. It's going to be really nice when we get it all done. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so there you go, guys. 1968 Cadillac. She is getting done again. Um, the last time I showed you, all the floors were all done. 
We still have the rear of the floor that we have to do, but these floors are all ready to go. Yeah, it's coming out nice. It's going to be a real nice car once it's done. Alrighty, have fun. I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.